gotta say this is a this wasp trap hornet trap yellow jacket trap I don't even know what to say I got this idea off YouTube Sony had posted kind of how to make it how to set it up it's not it's it's an old-school yellow jacket trap but I modified it just a little bit because I had a couple other things I could use but this this trap we have a yellow jacket problem around here and I can stand fairly close to them because they're, they're after meat. They're not after stinging people for being too close to their nest. You don't want to get too close and disrupt them because then they'll, they'll come after you. But look at this, this trap. Let me, let me see if I can adjust this camera a little bit. This little GoPro here. Swing my selfie stick out a little bit. Now look at this trap. We put this out. The first bee got into it, I would say around eight o'clock this morning. The first wasp. They're all yellow jackets, a couple bald faced hornets in there. That's about it. And a bunch of flies. All the things at the bottom are flies. The flies get in there and they tend to sink where the yellow jackets and the bald faced hornets float. Now the boards have the bait on them. The boards have a piece of, it's, it's quarter inch wire mesh. So the, the squares are quarter inch by quarter inch. And we had some ground beef in the fridge that we didn't get a chance to cook before it started to get a little bit too old for us to feel like cooking. So we took some of it and put it on the boards Use the the square wire mesh. Get out of here, bug. Man, B. I'm going to back up a little bit. I think I'm irritating him too much. So we use the wire mesh to hold it to the board upside down. And then you put it the level of the water just a little bit just so they can climb. If they want to fly upside down or, or grab on upside down, they can they can climb across it without hitting the water. But then as soon as they try and fly away, they drop down a little bit and hit that soapy water and get stuck just like that. Once they get in that soapy water, they can't get out. So the meat was doing an okay job. Around 11 o'clock, I was making my other trap out of that five gallon jug. And I had that pheromone packet that attracts them. And I only used a little bit on the Q-tips in that, that jug. And I, I wrapped it up tight and put it in a Ziploc bag. And my wife comes out and she's like, hey, so get that pheromone packet. Since we're not attracting a lot of these yellow jackets yet, flip one of those boards over and just put a drip of that stuff on the meat. And man, I'm telling you, that is all that it took. Just a little drip of that stuff that comes in those, those hornet traps. A little drip of that stuff on the meat just incredible I can't even get over there to clean it but the water is so full of yellow jackets the water is so full of yellow jackets you wouldn't think that any more could fall in and actually get stuck but they still get stuck they still fall in as soon as they touch the water they start panicking and they get sucked down underneath their friends and they try and use their friends, their dead buddies to, to climb out, but it doesn't work. It's getting kind of late in the evening now, so there's not as many over here. They're starting to go back to their nest. I'll give it another... Uh, I'll give it another couple hours let the sun really go down and then I'll go over there and I'll scoop all their their dead friends throw them over the fence in the uh, burn pile over there or something but it, it's it's an amazing trap and all it is is a bucket with soapy water in it or a, or that's a drawer a little plastic drawer that's part of a cubby system that you can put pens in. Pens in one, pencils in another, crayons in another. 
we were looking for something that wasn't like a five gallon jug because we don't have all our water piped in so we have to go next door to get water i didn't want to use a five gallons of water we found that emptied the pens out of it soapy water in that that's all soapy water then a board with i believe on a lot of the youtube videos that we've watched they used a piece of a chicken carcass just a bone that had some meat left on it and they'd staple it to that piece of wood or piece of plywood we use plywood but they staple it to that piece of plywood that's upside down and right over the water and you want to have a ledge you don't want to just have a stick with a piece of piece of meat on it because it lets them fly out you want to have something wide with the meat in the middle so they go underneath onto the meat and then they as they try and fly away they always drop down a little bit they never go straight out unless they have unless they're right on the side of that bone so make sure they have to go down to get out of the trap and it, it works like a champ i can't even go over next to the jug that i made earlier that thing's a swarm it's maybe i'll take a walk over there and show you before it gets too dark take a little hike I made sure and put this one way away from the campers I didn't want to run the chance of attracting anything to the campers we've got a couple hornet nests or hornet traps I don't know within 60 70 feet of the, the trailers that's really too close for me. It's in the dog run right above the chicken coop. And I don't particularly like it that close. But it's working like a champ. And it wasn't my idea really. The only thing I modified on that one was the pheromone packet that came with the wasp traps. Put a little drip on the meat and boom. Instantly they came from I don't know how far away. They were just swarming that area all the time. It's the same pheromone packet I used in this. And this one I'm I'm scared to get even somewhat close to. Let me adjust this thing. A little close up. Now if you can see. Oh geez, they're coming around me already. There's a bunch in the bottom. In that neck area, it's all dark. That's all dead bees. They're having a hard time getting all the way up in this trap. So I need to modify it. But it's attracting so much attention. Look at all the bees around here on the ground, everything. I'm sorry, they're not bees. They're, they're yellow jackets and bald-faced hornets. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to trap bees and kill them. Maybe trap them and put them in a beehive so I can make some honey, but I'm really more or less afraid of getting stung. I don't like getting stung, so I don't know if I'm gonna start a beehive or not. It's one thing that I, I love honey, but I think I'm just gonna go with the flow of buying it at the store. With me and getting stung, man, I got stung a few times when I was a kid. Didn't like it at all. So that's a little update on that one. The other one's going like a champ. This one's got a ton more bees at it, but they're not going up into it. You know, the, the opening I made just isn't quite working. And I've noticed some of them come out back out of the little hole. So I've got to come up with a better idea to keep them in there and go up into the jug once they get up into the jug they don't come back out they can't figure that out out of any of these traps once they follow that funnel all the way to the top they don't come back out so in making traps keep that in mind if you go to make your own but for now i think i'm going to go enjoy a little bit of food a little bit of family and then i'm probably going to go to bed and start my work all over again tomorrow Got some backhoe work done today. Got this leveled out. This is for another uh, upcoming event on the homestead. 
So follow us on Instagram and Facebook and all the other places. You kind of get a little heads up a little bit further or a little bit faster than YouTube because I have to edit the videos and it takes a lot of time if you're not a YouTube, what do they call it, a YouTube content creator. You don't really understand how long it takes to make videos. But, yep, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All our videos go out to all those places. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell to get notifications. Tell a friend. Link one of our videos somewhere. Have fun, guys. Above all, go make something.